Zero by steel connection user. In this tutorial, I'm going to demo you how to design a vertical brace connection using our program. Okay. Down below in the description area of this video, there is a link to download this PDF file. It's a working sheet for this video. Download it. Uh, open as PDF. Okay, look at this detail. Uh, it's a vertical brace uh, with top and bottom two parts, and there's uh, horizontal beams uh, 250 uh, W250 by 58 connect to the V axis of uh, column W610 by 155. These are all Canadian section or AISC section in metric uh, naming. Okay, so uh, that uh, so download this PDF file and uh, look at this detail. Uh, it's M plate uh, connect to the V axis of colon top and bottom vertical brace. It's a wide flange brace. Okay, there are two type of connection. On the top part is uh, by connect by a uh, web plate. Okay, that's a lightweight or medium weight. The uh, brace uh, actual force is two seventy five kilonewton. The bottom part is a heavier one. The brace uh, is the same size of brace, W246. The bottom part, the brace uh, actual force is 500 kilonewton. It's a heavy weight. So they go to uh, uh, connect uh, uh, both flange and web by uh, angle, clip angle, and the web plate. Okay, the top part only web plate. Okay, well, this detail. So before everything, make sure uh, it's. Uh, American code, we, now this time we, we do it in a uh, metric unit, all right? So, metric unit. All right, so, look at this detail, okay? So now, and uh, then look at these uh, angle, okay? 46 degree, okay? We set up the top part uh, 46 degree to the vertical line, the brace angle. So, go to uh, steel connection. And the uh, brace connection, vertical brace colon at left, and uh, let's top and bottom, okay, and set up the top part first. So connect to uh, colon web, okay, Guess connect to colon flange, horizontal members, uh, that's uh, being to colon, okay. That's why French and yeah, okay. We have uh, these uh, with web play only. So we are setting up the top part okay, first, top brace first, okay? That's top brace. We, we will change to bottom brace later. Okay, the angle, as I say, it's 46 degree. Okay. 46 degree now so go to the uh, section next section the colon section is 610155 w shape okay canadian section w610155 Uh, the beam section to fifty fifty eight. Canadian section to fifty fifty eight. Okay, the brace section top brace two hundred forty six. Okay. Canadian All right So Now We uh, Set up the Gasa to call it the top part first, okay. So uh, look at this. We set up these three bolts. 
the uh, distance uh, from the top are being to is 52, 102, 102. Okay, the gauge is 140. The edge distance is 51. So we input this one. Uh, the weld it's 8 millimeter. That's correct. The pray M pray thickness is uh, 22.2. Okay, and uh, the uh, it's a three. That's correct. Uh, that one is 51 and the uh, gauge is 140 uh, distance uh, is 102 that one is 32 that one is 52 okay 52 update uh, All right, so uh, a a we already finished the setup of this one, and the now we uh, config this guy. Okay, we config this guy. You see here, 38, 38, 76, uh, 51, uh, 76, 51. Okay, 51, 76. We config this uh, brace. So the uh, web plate thickness is a nine. Uh, what well plate thickness? What is the what well plate thickness? Oh, it's 10. Yep, both sides. It's 9.5. Let's go ahead. Okay, to, to this one is 51. This one is 38. This one is 51. This one is 51. This one is 76. This one is 76. Okay. Update. Alright. We get this uh, brace set up. And yeah, go to cassette being. We copy this one. It's 8. It's 8. Okay, welding is eight. Copy this one to flash this one. So now we can copy the brace from top to bottom. At least the uh, uh, section size is the same. We copy this one from top to bottom. All right. So now we are going to set up the uh, bottom part of. Uh, Diagonal brace, okay, change to bottom. So now uh, the top part is web plate, the bottom part is web plate plus quick angle, okay. So the type of section is uh, okay, W6, quick angle, and the web plate, and the uh, Angle okay, 33.1 degree to horizontal to vertical is 56.9. Okay, to the vertical line is 40 56.9 degree, 56.9. So, all right, so now let's uh, set up this part. The section of this one, oh, sorry, the gas plate, I haven't set up gas plate. Never mind, we'll check to it later, okay? The section of this one is uh, 76, 76, 9.5, create angle, the plate thickness is 10, okay? Then we set up all these, uh, all these uh, uh, box spacing, okay? Look at this one. So we, we set it up, go to create angle, it's 76, 76, 9.5 Canadian seventy six. Okay, that's two bolts. 
gauge is 44 44 this one is 76 I believe 76 this one is 51 this one is 51 this one is 51 okay update okay then go to web plate uh, again the same uh, 51 38 let's go at 51 51 76 76 web plate is set up the second needs okay so now we go to one two three four five five rows of boat the spacing is 76 okay five rows and that's 51 from here five rows of boat five No, that's well played. Sorry about that. That's well played. We go to Casa to column. A. That's five. And uh, hundred forty. That's seventy six. Fifty one. 32 that's 75 for whatever reason 52 update 76 1 2 3 4 5 76 52 okay they, they only uh, take uh, if 75 is too much <laughs> let's go to uh, Let's try 45, okay. You, you will automatically 45, you will keep. Okay. Uh, let's leave it, okay. 8, 8. And uh, guess how to beam. You copy it. It's 8 millimeter. Alright, so now we'll go to guess a plate. The bottom part, all right. So now we are looking at this. It's thirteen millimeter extension beyond thirteen millimeter extension beyond the uh, clear angle. The clearance to the being is twenty five. Okay. So copy everything first. So thirteen, thirteen. That's correct. Okay. 13, that's correct. 13, clearance is 25. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so the gas up plate thickness is 16, which is 15.8. Okay, all right, so gas up to beam. We copy everything. We set it up. Now we go back to the top. Okay, general. Go back to the top place. Top part. Now okay, look at this gas plate. It's thirteen half inch thick. Twenty five clearance. Thirteen. It's nineteen here. For whatever reason, we put nineteen here. So we go to. Gas plate now it's top brace okay the thickness is twenty twelve point seven I copy everything first okay okay clear limbs okay now we have to talk about this okay you see the clear limbs is touching the uh, column edge line and the clear limbs is uh, 25 millimeter to top of uh, being surface. So 
uh, if the clearance is to this uh, column edge line, it will move it out, okay, 25. But apparently, uh, its clearance is to the top of beam. So in this case, we, we are saying uh, the uh, clearance is, is not to the column edge line, it's to the beam, okay. So we can treat this one. This one can move inward, okay. We, we say it's clear to the uh, column web, not the, to the column French line. So now uh, this one, you see this one, 25 here. Uh, positive value is uh, clearance to uh, column edge line. If we put the minus 25, it's clearance to the Bing web. So we put minus 25. And you see uh, now it clear to uh, Bing. Okay, this one touch the French. So let's look clear them. So we can go to top. Okay. So 25, see the 25 here? Okay, highlight 25 here. 13, and uh, that clearance, uh, it's 19. Edge extension is 19, half inch, okay? So, we uh, go to uh, Gasa to Beam. We want to flash this one. Hello, Gasa Plate. It's a 19, right? It's a 19 here. Yep. So 25 clearance. All right, so... Uh, get set the beam, we want to flush. Copy this one, flush it. Okay. So now, uh, being to column, there's not much uh, I can do about it for being because uh, it's consistent. To, uh, we have 64, being to column, 64, two rows, same gauge, being to column. And uh, we have welding 8 millimeter, see, welding 8 millimeter, being to column. I believe this one is also a millimeter weld. 64, bin to column, a millimeter, a millimeter, 23, rows of bolt, that is 51, 140, that's 64. Update. <laughs> All right, uh, so this one, I just want to highlight to you. Uh, okay, let's input the, uh, the low first, okay, uh, you want to know. Okay, the top price, 275 kilonewton tension compression. Bottom is 500 kilonewton bottom compression. The being tensile is 260. I mean, for for these uh, uniform force mass, okay, I, I have another uh, tutorial video. Uh, actually, I have, uh, how to say that? I have uh, on my menu. Uh, in these uh, frequent asked questions, uh, I will explain to you uh, why being an actual low input is not needed okay this one is not needed check this one okay so go to uh, online menu and go to uh, this one and check uh, this part why this uh, this one is not needed okay and how these uh, transfer force functioning okay if you check this one you will know more detail about that so we Pretty much, uh, we pretty much uh, don't care about this one, okay? We care about this pass-through or transfer force, 260 kilonewton. So, 260 kilonewton, uh, we always, it's plus minus, it's tensile complexive transfer force. We always, to be conservative, 
we always input this one as positive value 260 so uh, you will find why is that in this tutorial okay actually here there's a tutorial video okay you will find more detail in this uh, tutorial video okay and uh, also this tutorial page uh, why is that and uh, here explain to you uh, explain to you uh, input as positive value okay so go to that detail and uh, now 260 we input as uh, positive value transfer force for both low case 260 oh no uh, before everything we clear clear everything okay no we clear everything to zero first all right so 260 transfer force 260 because we have two low cases because uh, the place have tensile compression and uh, both top and bottom so so basically we assuming uh, top is uh, Tensile, bottom is compression, or top is compression, bottom is tensile in that case. In both cases, the transfer force is 260 positive, okay? And you will uh, check the uh, tutorial here and uh, on my menu, see why is that explanation. So now the uh, 275, 500, okay. So that's a tensile top, bottom is compression, 500, and reverse that, 275, minus 500, reverse, just reverse that, and uh, we have 260, now we don't need this one, we only need this one 207, okay, 207, shear force, 207, 207 okay update and we get 1.19 I will show you how to uh, uh, how to handle that all right so go to bin the column I just uh, want to explain to you one thing you check like something fail if you check it's a bin to column okay bin to column bin to column where is it uh, uh, pin to column okay you check this uh, summary pin to column this one 1.19 it's fail now it's pin to column okay column web actual yielding column web uh, this time it fails in another way but uh, uh, many times okay uh, pin to column uh we have uh this part of both go to front view okay the whole piece of m plate the whole piece of m plate we normally classify three loads of both as bin to column three loads on top as uh gasa to column top and the five loads at the bottom is gasa to column bottom but many times the bin to column three rows of bolt is not uh, adequate. It fails many times. We can classify these rows of bolt and these rows of bolt as bin to column and reduce one row from bottom gusset to column, reduce one row gusset to column, let's say two rows on top gusset to column instead of three. Because the bottom rows classified to a, as a bin to column, so the reason I explain to you is because uh, we have this option to get your design passed. It's the same uh, number of rows or bolt, but uh, sometimes we allocate more resources to the uh, fail part to get it passed. It's the same same way of uh, it, it's a just a, a, a tips for you to get a design passed, okay? Because you might uh, redistress, uh, redistribute the stress uh, between, uh, because uh, we have uh, 
we have a gas to colon top been to colon gas to colon bottom we just uh, redistribute the resources to uh, take the stressful part most stressful part get it is pass it's a legit way to handle the design all right it's a tr it's a tips for you so uh, let also explain why there's option here one of the both outside being French to be being colon okay you choose yes you will change it to another way of handle the design yeah you may get your may get your design passed but not in this case uh, now our for our case uh, why it fail is because uh, you see uh, yeah being the color what is it you see uh, these uh, from view right you see the uh, end plate and the column depth is very wide okay and this is end plate and now look at these uh, uh, shell yielding oh for it okay look at this show your thing okay when you uh, when you have uh, concentrate force here your colon is very white okay uh, the uh, wet as a plate might get yielding failure okay the year-round analysis so the the way to handle is as different plate on the other side of the web, okay. Also at this uh, vertical one. So we have an option here. We have an option here. Um, so side view. Um, we have option to add the stiffener plate and also vertical stiffener plate to provide stiffener at the column web okay get design passed uh, you also need a vertical one so go to front view um, I will say you go one stiffener plate horizontal and one vertical here okay on the far side of the column column web so let uh, conclude our uh, our design of this connection uh, it's a complicated one uh, white French uh, diagonal brace connection the top and bottom okay the top one is a medium medium duty to 75 kN the bottom one is heavy duty 500 kN and plate connect to column web okay yeah so that conclude our design and uh, see you next time bye